Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? Keeping things moving right along. We've got another LEGO Harry Potter Years 5 through 7 video for you. In fact, this one happens to be for level 4 creature discomforts free play. Now, we want to make a quick little uh, notation here that a couple of extra character requirements. Now, you know, things like parcel tongue and, you know, digging and things like that are all going to be part of, you know, completing the story. But beyond that, if you have not watched our preparing for free play video, we highly encourage that you have a strong character as well as a a uh, dark magic character. I almost forgot what I was saying there. But uh, when you're ready to get things rolling, go ahead and go to the Leaky Cauldron, select a level four creature discomforts, and choose free play. As soon as we start, we're going to hop right up on the table because we've got no manners. We're going to go ahead and target these wreaths playing around on the upper areas of the room. In fact, there are five wreaths total that we need to blast. Uh, we used Reducto. I'm sure the other spells might help or work. But uh, yeah, all in all, it's kind of a funny angle on a couple of them. So target them, blast them, and wait for it. Booyaka show! We get ourselves a character token. It happens to be Arthur Weasley. And oh, to the end. Now we're going to go ahead and pop up on the table again and destroy everything else. And really what we're trying to do here is we need to bake a cake so that Santa will come down. I don't know what it is with this game and cake. I don't know if it's like referencing to portal stuff because, you know, got to have the cake and portal. But anyhow, uh, we have removed the door handle with Leviosa. We got some bricks from that that we rebuilt into this awesome little stove. The stove provides us with the cake and little mini Santa comes down and says, hey, I'm going to eat me some cake. And he drops our handle, which is as big as he is. And we felt like, you know, we felt bad about hopping on the table and everything. So we did some quick dishes before grabbing the handle and slapping it on the back door here. And, of course, spin to win. And, oh, no, there goes Creature. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, he uh, activated that uh, knight. It's blocking our pathway, but he's not going to <laughs> prove to be much of a task for us. But before we move on to that knight, we actually need to use a character with strength. And it takes me a second to figure out who I have that's strong because, uh, you know, and I mentioned this in my last video, it's not always giving you a strength character, at least not the obvious one that I chose. Like, I literally went out of my way and got a strength character, which is kind of why I mentioned it in this video at the beginning. And as it turns out, Sirius Black, he can change into Animagus, or however you say that, and his dog, the goes ahead and he can rip down that handle and look at that going up oh look at this we're in a crazy little bedroom here and as soon as we spawn we see that there's what is a hippogriff you know what we call those guys we'll go ahead and hop to that little dresser drawers in the back there smack a rooney it and it'll uh, drop some sort of an item for us it's not what we needed though there's actually three items up here you need to smack uh, two of them are on this side and you can see the third one was uh, what we needed it gave us the old chicken leg so we'll go ahead and hand it back apparently these guys like chicken, so I wonder if it's from the old chicken shack up in Mill City, my, one of my favorite places to frequent when I go up on my pond days, old Sam's Crispy Crunchy Chicken. But uh, make sure you bounce on the bed real quick and grab that red house crest before moving on out and dropping back down the old elevator chute there. Kind of reminds me of a little laundry chute. But uh, once we get that all done, we're going to keep on keeping on, go up the stairs, past the night, and we have to destroy a silver lock with Reducto to get into this secret passageway room over here. It's really not a secret passageway. It's just an extra room. And we're going to switch on over to Ron and use the Deluminator lamp right off the bat and uh, move it all the way to the back right corner, which melts some ice. That's weird. That uh, I guess it's... Technically, it's an old light. It probably has a heat source. It may not enough to melt that, but uh, regardless, we're going to go ahead and smash some more things on the table. Boy, we're destroying dinner time around here. But uh, it actually gave us the second piece needed. So first one was with the deluminator lamp with melting ice. Second one was on the table. And the third one is going to require dark magic out in the hallway under the stairs. We'll go ahead and use that, shake it up, smack a rooney, and guess what? We've got this ladle. Is that what it is? I guess. But uh, we give it to, uh, is, is that Molly? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's Molly. It's Apron Molly. And we just, we just unlocked her. And now there's this wall with red on it. And I'm hitting it with Defendo. You can see I got the right spell out. But it's not working for me. So, uh, again, just one of those funny angles. Kind of a user error type deal here. And eventually I run all the way to the back. And I, I'm like, all right, there's something going on here. What's going on? All right. And booyaka shout. We go ahead and zap it. And look at that. We've got ourselves an egg. And we go ahead and carve it out. <laughs> Look at that. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, in this case, it was certainly the egg. And, uh, ooh, parcel tongue. Little serpent memory game here. So we'll go ahead and match it up. Luckily for us, we had Ron 
Uh, and there's a couple of different versions of Ron. Not all of them have uh, the ability to speak parcel tongue, but uh, of course you should have Harry or Ron or somebody. And, and luckily for all of us, it actually tells us uh, right under the character's name once it spawns up there when you switch characters. It actually gives us the abilities that each character has. So that's pretty sweet. So once you get all three of those pieces into the painting on the wall, it should kick down with the old green house crest piece. And then we can keep on keeping on, which requires a little bit of Leviosa and some good timing to get up those stairs and in fact there's three different portions there you have to flip it up so you can actually climb up them and once you get up to this next level we're gonna actually switch to a character with dark magic and take on this red and black weird looking i don't know what this is like a hutch or something over here but we're gonna use it twice to shake things up and inside it actually gives us the old creature character token so oh yeah and now we got to switch to a character with the invisibility cloak, which luckily for us, we have Harry, and he can switch on over. And watch this. This gets weird. So I'm invisible, but for some reason, I, I guess maybe I moved too fast. I wasn't quite invisible yet, but you got to sneak on by the painting there. Once you get by it, you're going to smack that, uh, I guess it's like a big box. And we'll uh, find some pieces inside that box that we can build up into what ends up being the other side of the drapes, and you can go ahead and shut them up. And next up, we're gonna switch to Hermione. Well, actually, we're gonna check this out. We saw some silver bricks. We weren't sure what this was. And look at this, it's kind of the back door entrance. Ooh, some purples and some bluesies, toozy. But uh, really, it's just that other room where we had the hippogriff and we fed him the old chicken bone. And uh, all right, so we gotta switch back to Hermione here and use the old bookshelf, or the bookcase, rather, my bad. And uh, once you solve the puzzle, I think I get this right. One of them I messed up, but I think that was one of the ones that I had to redo. So you're going to want to pick up the handle because we need that to get out of here. But before actually moving out of here, switch to a character with Leviosa and switch that purple item up there. You got to kind of spin it around. It'll give you a notation of one of three once you get it completed. Next up, we're going to go ahead and slam the handle onto the door, but don't use it yet. Do not go through the door. You're going to want to switch to Leviosa and flip this one around, which should give you two of three now you can go ahead and spin to win that handle and enter the door and inside now we're in the what i believe is the family tree room is what i believe it's called and uh over uh, above the door and just to the left of the clock there is the third and final piece that you need to flip around twice and it actually gives you the old blue house crest piece and if somehow you missed one of those go ahead and click the blue house crest piece uh, quick link down below in the video description and that'll take you right back to the beginning but if you're ready to keep on keeping on we're gonna move to the left hand side of the room and give that vase on the table there a little smackaroo and it's gonna drop a piece for me and you and check it out we're gonna slap that on there now we also spun the clock around with Leviosa right after we got that blue house crest piece and uh, we did grab a second piece for the wall there so we've already attached to again uh, I'm kind of talking over myself here so we'll match up all these colors on the wall here there's three different pieces, three different colors. They all came from that chest there. Once you have all of those in place, you might have noticed that after knocking that vase down, there was this glowing spot on the floor. If you approach it and hit the icon, which I guess it was circle for us, it's going to make this magic rug move and go into the painting, and it actually reveals a little silver block on the ground. We've used Reducto to go ahead and blow it up, oh, and look at this. Now we're down in this crazy basement with, like, bones as a ladder, and Reducto one more time on the right side wall actually gives us a little bit of a well, actually gives us entrance to a jail and we free that student in peril so turn that frown upside down da, 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 da. and on the left there's a wall with red on it so we're going to switch to defendu and carve out i don't know what this is it looks like a flashlight i guess it is we use uh leviosa to build up the pieces and look at that yeah it is some sort of a disco flashlight diddly, 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 disco flashlight and and look at them pop locking up there. That's pretty cool. They dance around, jump for joy. A bunch of studs puke out. Bleh, and then, of course, they disappear, which leaves us this nice little hallway here. And, oh, there's a treasure chest with a lock on it. But luckily for us, there's a key there. Use Leviosa to go ahead and unlock the door. And look at that. It's the yellow house crest piece. So we've only got one more item, and it's actually right up above us in the old family tree room. But, uh, hey, there's some more studs to be found down here. So destroy everything in sight. And once you're ready to go, climb up them bones, them bones, them ladder bones. And check it out. Now, before you move that painting onto the wall there, uh, you're going to want to use Aquamenti on this tank in the back corner if you haven't already. And once you fill it up, it actually drops out a token for us. And look at that. Who is it? It's Sirius Black, which I find a little ironic. Don't I already have control of him in this level? I'm pretty sure I already used him. 
Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, all right. Last but not least, we need to use Parcel Tongue on the far right puzzle box here. And once we get the brick needed here, we'll go ahead and paste it on the wall for the final one. Whoa, watch that step. It's a doozy. And look at that. All right, so we've got the full thing up on here. And guess what? Booyaka shao. That's it. It's the final totals. And we got all four of the house crest pieces, which give us a gold brick. We got Arthur Weasley character token. We also found that creature one. That was a fun one. That would shake up that dark magic box. And Sirius Black was the last one we got for the Aquamenti tank. Of course, we blew right on by the old true wizard requirement. That was easy peasy. And look at that. We've got over two and a half milski. That is all right. In fact, at some point, we might dip out of the free play. We might do a separate little video and go pick up some more red bricks. We'll see. I don't know. We might save those all for the end and do those just right before the free roll. But hey, we turned that frown upside down. And of course, for uh, getting the true wizard, all of the house crests, and the, the uh, frown upside down, we get all three of those good old bricks. Uh-oh, you know what this screen means. That's going to wrap it up for LEGO Harry Potter years 5 through 7, level 4, Creature Discomfort Free Play. And oh, to the yeah. So I went ahead and added the character requirements as per your request. I also have added some quick link notations in the video to kind of remind you guys that there are some down spots. And usually I put those when there's usually like a minute or more. So if you're just here for collectibles and you already know how to beat the level, you might use those quick links a little bit more. But hey, if you guys have any questions, comments, requests, Head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or simply comment, vote, subscribe down below. And, of course, we're always here to help you out. A lot of you are finding out that uh, we are quite available. And although we can't always answer every question right away, uh, we do our best to answer them here on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTubes. Uh, so, yeah, uh, if you haven't already, check out HappyThumbsGaming.com. You might consider going to Patreon.com slash HappyThumbsGaming and becoming a Happy Thumbs Namer donator. In fact, at the $2 tier or more per month, you actually get your name listed on the wall of happy thumbs namers and uh we're greatly appreciative and it'll also help with future projects and contests like right now we have a really sweet giveaway on our facebook page so if you're watching this as it releases you might check out facebook.com slash happy thumbs gaming because there's a pretty sweet one but if you're already watching this video because you're playing this you might actually not have any interest in it so hint hint i, won't, I can't tell you what it is i don't want to time date this anyhow uh that's it for me as always until next time you are being hypnotized. Check out our social pages. Link below in the video description. Bye.